So, like most lift and twist Kinsey's, we mount four 150s on the front rail. It's pretty common, depending on how much you want to carry, of course. These are, these are 32 inch diameter, 150 gallon uh, tanks. You know, as you can see, they fit in there nice, don't interfere with markers. Uh, you can see up over them pretty well. They don't, they don't interfere with anything. And of course, these are custom brackets that, uh, that turned out really, really nice. So, um, let's start back here at the fill. We usually fill these planters on the ends. Um, sometimes we'll go out the back as well, but on this particular one, we're going to fill from the end. So we've got our valve mount here, a nice handy dandy cap with of course a filter. And then we're going to attach our main hose there and it will lead up here and it will eventually tie in to all of these tanks. Now on a lot of these tanks, you'll see there's two ports, um, at least on the Norwescos. One port, uh, if you would look up in it, has got like a bridge. That is gonna be your fill port. That is a fill port and that bridge is there to disperse the fluid left and right when it's filling so it doesn't shoot directly up and pop that lid off the top uh, like a cannon. So typically that's our fill and you can use this one as a suction. But in this scenario, we are going to use the fill as our fill port and our suction from the pump. So we've got that of course mounted on all of them. We mounted the handy dandy red ball tree right here. Uh, it is visible, highly visible from the tractor. And of course we've got 12 rows. We did our math on gallons per minute to figure out which red ball to put in there. And uh, it's mounted nice and rigid, easily visible on this frame. We are running three eighths uh, quick lock airline caps. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna run airline, like I said, down to these openers. We've got some liquid openers that Kinsey makes. Uh, it's an adapter kit to adapt from a dry fertilizer boot over to a liquid. So that's kind of tomorrow's job. We're going to get the liquid knife put on there and uh, finish up all the plumbing, get the ground drive pump and everything working. So this is a pretty common setup, uh, especially on a lift and twist, um, mounting the tanks like this, red ball right out front and center. And uh, we'll do another final video of it when it's done. Thanks for tuning in.